Hello, I'm Professor Paul Cortez. Welcome to the Contra Costa College Automotive Technology Instructional Video Series. In this episode, we're going to cover high voltage battery testing on a Toyota Prius. In this video, I'm going to cover how to record and graph data from the ATRI battery ECU that will help you check battery condition. We'll only cover how to do the testing and will not explain the reasoning behind the testing or how to analyze the data you collect. Connect the text stream to the OBD2 port. Ready the vehicle by stepping on the brake and pressing the power button. Start the TechStream application and enter the vehicle information. Select HV Battery ECU. Select Data List. Select the PIDs you want to record. At minimum, you'll need to select Battery Block Minimum Voltage and Battery Block Maximum Voltage. I also like to select a few more useful PIDs. Battery State of Charge, Delta State of Charge, IB Main Battery, Min Battery Block Number, Max Battery Block Number, and battery block voltage 1 through 14. Once you've selected the PIDs, reduce the data list to only the PIDs you've selected to increase the refresh rate and make it easier to see the relevant PIDs. Select Function from the menu at the top of the screen. Select Snapshot Configure from the drop-down menu. A recording configuration bar will appear at the bottom of the screen. Change the recording duration to 5 minutes. Change the trigger point to Begin or 0%. You are now set up to record. The object during testing is to alternately load and charge the battery. You load the battery by pressing on the gas and brake pedal at the same time. Depending on the battery's condition, you may also charge the battery by releasing the accelerator while the ice runs. There's only two rules to remember. One, when the ice is stopped, press the accelerator pedal. Two, when the ice is running, release the accelerator pedal. Apply the parking brake. Firmly press the brake pedal with your left foot and hold it throughout the testing. Shift to reverse. Wait for the ice to stop. Press the accelerator pedal to the floor once the ice stops. When the 5 minute recording ends, name and save the data. Select the Store Data tab near the top of the screen. Select the HV battery from the menu at the left side of the screen. Select Data List. Open the file name you created at the end of the recording. Click the graph icon at the bottom of the screen. Double click the battery block min voltage and battery block max voltage so they appear on the graph. Select the overlap button on the bottom of the screen. In order for the graph data to be useful, both PIDs must be on the same scale. So each PID must be adjusted to the same minimum and maximum values. Click menu and then enter graph setup for one of the two PIDs. Change the scale to manual ranging. Enter a minimum that is less than the actual minimum voltage during the recording. Enter a maximum that is more than the actual maximum voltage during the recording. Repeat the process for the other PID. You now have a graph recording of the lowest and highest blocks and are ready to start your analysis of battery condition. That's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out some of the other episodes of the Contra Costa College Automotive Technology Instructional Video Series.